Gary Wright, who was 80 years old, has passed away. Parkinson's disease and dementia ultimately proved fatal for the Dreamweaver composer. The story was initially published by TMZ and later confirmed by Wright's close friends. Composer Frank Wright passed away on September 4 at his home in Palos Verde Estates, California, according to his son Justin Wright. The vocalist of Love is Alive had been dealing with Parkinson's disease and later dementia for close to six years prior to this announcement. Justin explained to the media company that as Gary's Parkinson's disease worsened, he lost the ability to do things like walk or talk. He passed away surrounded by his family and friends. Wright's representative, Elizabeth Freund, told POPL in a statement, I first met Gary Wright in 2008 when he joined Ringo Starr's All-Star Band and worked with him on a number of projects in the following years. He was a wonderful musician and a genuinely kind and peaceful person. Devoted is the term that springs to mind. Very spiritual and a nice person. His devotion to his sweet Rose, who I'm thinking of at the moment, has always struck me as remarkable. Fron said, Your love is alive, now and always, Gary. Dreamweaver, I appreciate the tunes. Love and calm are being sent to his loved ones. Gary Wright, Ringo Starr, and the rest of the all-star band. Rip. Professionals in Gary's field have taken to social media to mourn his passing and confirm his death. David Pack, co-founder of Ambrosia, posted a touching tribute to his late friend on Facebook. It's been real, Gary Wright, with a heavy heart. I offer my deepest condolences to Gary's family, including his wife, Rose, son, Dorian Wright, and other loved ones. According to Pack, my friend Gary Wright has gone to heaven. Pack attached a picture of them laughing and smiling while Pack played guitar and Gary clapped along. During their conversation, Pack revealed that he had been a Gary fan ever when Gary was in the English rock band Spooky Tooth. He played keyboards on every George Harrison solo album and became a superstar because to the success of songs like Dream Weaver and My Love is Alive, Gary, I'm sure, is in heaven with George right now, writing songs together, as Pack put it. The Holden on to yesterday, Singer concluded his message with a pleasant recollection of their time together, recalling that they had been neighbors at one point. In his gardening cap, he'd bring me a bag of tomatoes straight from his garden. There he is, genuine Gary smile intact, offering something to his next-door neighbor, Pack elaborated, saying, that's the spirit that wrote those timeless songs. Even Stephen Bishop showed respect for the celebrity. It is with great sadness that I received the news of my dear friend Gary Wright's passing, Bishop wrote on Twitter, then known as X, about his loss. In his farewell letter, he included two photos of himself and Gary laughing on stage with their mutual friend and fellow musician John Ford Coley. The Bowling in Paris singer praised Gary, recalling that the performer's vibrant personality and exceptional talent made every moment together truly enjoyable. His impact will be felt for generations. Gary and Rose were so welcoming and friendly to me, and I will never forget the stories he told me about the good old days. Bishop gushed. I want to extend my deepest sympathies to his loved ones at this time of loss. Gary's resume includes time as a child actor and a stint on Broadway before he made his name in music. After gaining fame in Fanny, he attended medical school in New York and later psychiatric school in Berlin. He played with Spooky Tooth, Wonder Wheel, and Ringo Starr and his all-star band, among others, throughout the early 1970s. He worked with the late George Harrison on several solo albums, including All Things Must Pass and Cloud Nine. 